Our next challenge is to um, cross-check that the QR code path was saved. Mm -hmm. So we have to cross-check that the QR code was created and the path was saved. So we come to QR codes, uh, come to QR code um, table, then we we'll click on QR codes, and then we see that we have 12 two QR codes. This was the first one we created before we uh, started generating QR codes. And then this is the second one that is supposed to have the QR code inside it, the QR code path. So if we scroll down to QR code path column, you see that it is empty. So why is it empty? Because uh, we obviously have a, our code here did not work. So uh, we're going to have to find out why it didn't work. So obviously I can solve this problem behind you, but I want to show you how um, I solve problems like this. Um, first of all, we have to make sure that our, this each statement actually executes because after creating the QR code, we want to make sure that this one actually works. So um, we can do DD. Uh, let's just say what we have here. At the same time, we're making sure that there's something contained in this file code. So we do DD. If our code works up to this point, then obviously the problem is with this. All right. So DD, uh, we are going to go back to our platform and create a new QR code. So we're going to click on QR codes and uh, we click on new. It has logged us out. So our system logs us out, uh, which we can fix later after a few moments of um, uh, being idle. It will log you out. So here we'll click on QR codes and we'll click on add new. A website, choose any website, a name. We can choose another name, um, how to invest in um, growth, great ICOs. ICOs um, with over 10,000% increase. So I made a course like this. You can check it on my Udemy by the partner. So let's say this is a product we're selling. And uh, we're choosing a new callback URL. Yes, it's active. Um, com company name, product or whatever amount. Let's say it's ten dollars. And we click save. Um, well, it is expired because we needed to refresh. So generally, you you can find. Out that your Laravel logs you out for no reason. Refresh. It has logged us out again. So eventually, we're going to extend the logout time. This logs out within a few seconds, but we'll have to extend it. So let's say we'll get back and repeat what we just did. I'll pause this video and conclude. So it didn't run. Uh, if with our DD, with the code we added here, if this code run, it will, to, the whole screen will be white. It will just output what we have, which means according to our code, this each statement uh, doesn't run at all. This each statement doesn't run. I think one thing we can do is, uh, since we're not trying to write the best code, we can just remove the each statement. That will be one quick solution. Not the best, but it's quick. Uh, you can take your time out to write the better code. So there are some redundant stuff like here we are we're supposed not to attempt to save. So what we can do is um, delete this short. Uh, make sure that this is outside new statements. This is outside. All right. So what happens in our code now is that um, um, the form contents are created. We we'll create the QR code, save the image. Then we need to update the QR code um, record in the database. So we update that too. Now we've updated that. Now the next thing we want to do is uh, we want to, if that update was successful, we want to flash a success message. Um, but the issue now is um, we can do this. We need to be able to track by doing this. We we'll say this variable equal to the item that creates the updates the record. Now we have that, there's a little issue problem we're having in our code. 
two different models are named QR code. That is the model for this file is named QR code. And then the QR code library that we imported, the package we imported, also is named QR code. Look at it. It's named QR code. The only difference is in spelling. Look at this one is all capitals. But our model is just one capital with all small. So they look alike too much. We have to go and change it. And then before we can use our model, we have to import it. So to import our model, we'll come up here. We have imported the QR code library here. So we'll do use app models QR code. Now that's not all. It's going to throw an error. The error it's throwing is that um, by default Laravel uses the last name here as what you can use to refer to it. Let me show you. It says cannot use app models QR code as QR code because the name is already in use. This already answers QR code. So we have to put as we create a variable name for it. So I'll call it um, QR code code model. So this is just a minor bug. So um, it doesn't happen in all models. It just happens because we're using QR code with QR code again. So now the reason I did app models QR code is look out, look at it. This is app folder. This is models folder. You seen it? And then inside it we have a model file called QR code. That's what I just imported. You understand? So but I renamed the class that is being imported there so that um, it doesn't clash. So I can now copy this and. Um, get down to where we wanted to use it here and replace it so that we don't mix things up. Makes perfect sense now. So we can now go and create a new QR code and see uh, whether it works perfectly. We get back, click on new QR code. And then just fill up stuff there. Mm, it's active. Fill up random stuff random stuff click submit works perfectly so id number six if we go and check um qr code oh sorry if we check the you see there are now six images on our platform six so um, if you don't want the QR code to be saved on your server, if you just want to generate QR code and output it just like that, then you have to remove this line. See, this line is what saves, does the saving. So um, one thing, one problem you can already find is that our the, the general size of our platform is already increasing. People are dumping images. Uh, for each QR code request they generate, um, it creates a new image and saves it here. So our file over time will grow into gigabytes. So um, you can have it like that if you have enough server to contain it. But another thing you can do is to make sure that um, you don't save. Uh, depending on how you're building your application, if you remove this line, it will generate the QR code. It will pass it out to the screen, but there is no saving. It will not be saved. Also, you can clear this out and make sure that anytime somebody wants to view the page, you generate a fresh one for them. You don't save it. You just generate a fresh one. Um, so what we're going to do quickly before we round up this video is to display it here. So we want to display the QR code here. Once we do it, that we're done. I think this video is already too long. Let's um, do it in the next video.